Hey guys, welcome back to Bearded Lumber. Uh, we appreciate you tuning in. If you watched the last episode, you know what we're getting into on this one. We got our our blower unit, uh, frame manufactured, got them mounted. We're happy with it. Was ready to put some legs on it, paint it, and move on. And we run into a little bit of problem. Uh, if you didn't see that episode, I'm going to show you why we're working on them this morning. So hang on, we'll get right to it. Okay, I'm gonna spin this motor up and you can hear the bearings on this one and then we'll spin the other one up and you can hear it. This one sounds good. I can talk right over top of it. Not a bit of a problem. Now let's go over here and try the other. You can spin these up with a power drill. You just have to start off a little slow. You can't hammer it. You guys gotta let it get build the torque up. Okay guys, I hope that came through good on the video. You could really hear the difference between one and the other. Uh, it's got a, got a bearing going bad, it happens. Luckily we found it now, before we got it over and got it installed. So, we all, in the previous video we talked about how we built our frame to where it would hold one motor or the other if we had to take one off. Well, we're getting ready to put that to the test because we're gonna take this motor all apart and take it off the frame uh, take the impeller off. We got to take this box apart, and then we'll take the motor apart and put two two new bearings in it. So we appreciate you watching. Let's uh, get to work. Okay, guys, we're back. Uh, <laughs> real world fun. We've been chasing the chicken, if you could imagine that. <laughs> Apparently, the grandkids let one or two escape, and they made it down here. So we was helping them and uh, their mom catch the chicken, but. Back to work. Uh, we're gonna take this part, we're gonna remove this fan, leave this fan stationary. Uh, like I said, we built it with that intention if we had to, we just didn't dream it would be today. So we're gonna remove this back spreader and we'll unbolt it here. And there's two bolts over here and this motor will be ready to just poof, set off. And then we're gonna disassemble it. So let me zip all these bolts out and we'll get on to the next step. Tight. <laughs> Let's get to the side how see how good a job we can making it removable. Huh? Yep. Okay guys, got it muscled off our thing is heavy. We're gonna take the bolts out of this outer cover, take the bolts out of the uh, flywheel. If we can get that off the motor, it won't be that bad, I don't think. So we're gonna turn the fan on because it's ungodly hot in here. So we'll be right back.
put any trays in there, it's good though. Pour it first and see if something moves. Okay guys, uh, whew, it's July. I know it's hot where y'all at. It's hot here too. We turned the fan off so we can talk just a minute. We got our motor disassembled. Uh, you see me heat that aluminum uh, impeller. Guys, be careful with that. It's aluminum. Aluminum is one of those metals you can heat it up real hot and then you know, instantly melt. So you gotta be, go slow. I slowly tried to incorporate the heat around it. Aluminum transfers heat real well. When I grabbed a hold of the fin that was 10 inches away from where I was eating it, it was hot. So it transferred the heat out real quick. It come off like a blessing. Uh, the little fan here on the end, I sprayed some uh, PB Blaster on it yesterday, just for good measure. And it's already broke loose, so we're, we're a win. We gotta get this off. Got I do a little bit of wiring over here and uh, We'll separate this motor, try to put some bearings in it. So let's see how easy this comes off. Go the right way. Woo, what a blessing. <laughs> that could have been so much worse. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, we're going to take apart this wire connection so that we can get the housing to come apart. The end feed is no big deal, but these three here, you want to keep them in order. Uh, easiest way to do that is with a zip tie. Make you, take your Sharpie or whatever, mark this one, two, three, put one zip tie, two zip ties, and I'm not gonna put any on that one because I know it's three. But uh, we will make sure to get them back exactly where they come from. And normally a little bitty dinky zip tie, or a piece of tape if you've got colored tape, but uh, I don't have any colored tape today. So two of these little dinky zip ties will do just the trick. Oh, there's the Sharpie I was looking for. Okay. Oh, come on. I'll take pocket knife and cut off all the excess here in just a second. We're gonna have to turn the fan back on, guys. It is miserable, but I'm gonna mark this in as one two, and three, and we'll try not to rub them off. If you're worried about rubbing them off, take your center punch, go one, one, two, one, two, three. Or also do like we're doing, it's on video. It's on we video. We can go back and look at it. <laughs> We've done that before with stuff. Yep. Okay, we're going to 
Guys, we're going to have to turn the fan back on. It is ungodly hot. So you can just sit over and watch. It'll be a time lapse or maybe real time, but it's going to be, that fan's going to run. <laughs> Okay guys, we're getting ready to split the housing on this and I got my center punch. I'm going to mark the bottom flange and the top flange as well as the housing so that when we take it apart, put it back together, we'll stack it back in the orientation it was in. You can move these, but I'm not interested in doing that today. I want it to go back just the way it came apart, so that's, that's what this is for. Okay, what I did, that's fine, leave it, leave it on. Uh, I put a single punch on the bottom, on the top flange and the bottom flange, and on the top I put a double dots on the barrel as well as the top flange. That way, you don't break that, it happens. You lay it over here and you can get halfway back together. This just kind of makes it easier, so. Okay, guys, we uh, moved up to my dad's shop. Uh, need a uh, hydraulic press. I need to buy one, but no more than we ever use one. It's easier just to go for it, Pops. Uh, but we're going to press this uh, motor out of here, change the bearing, put it back together, and hopefully be uh, moving on with this project. Okay. Looks like a screwdriver. Grab it. It's coming. Oh, I got a hold of it. It's loose. Oh, these are holding it. Okay. Gotta hang on to it. There it is. Well, we're still gonna push the bearing out. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we got the bearing out of the housing. Now we're gonna get the bearing off the shaft. Hopefully this comes off as easy as the other one did. Yes, okay. sir. Coming loose like a dream. You're not gonna drive that off and hammer it. It takes tonnage to get that off. You right on there? Yeah. Came with it. There's our problem, child. Oh, Lord. I can't even turn it yet. Yeah, it's bad. You can see it. It's got a little rust on it. That's never a good sign. So, we get this other stuff cleaned up, we'll put it back together. Okay guys, we worked ahead a little bit without you, sorry. We got the old bearing off, got the new one uh, back on there, and we got our housing cleaned out, and it should go back together without having to press it. There it is. Oh, it spins like butter. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, that's enough for YouTube on the road. We're going back to our shop and get this put back together. Okay guys, uh, we're back down at our shop. 
I got our base plate set up here with my mark. I've got my motor housing with its mark and its double and top plate. So we're just going to set it back together and reassemble it. The way it comes apart. <coughs> yes, it was heavy. Okay, I just made sure it's seated so I don't have to pull it down with the uh, bolts. I had it set up where it was going to go. <laughs> All right, that's why you mark them. It's easy to get confused. Okay. This bearing needs to get down there. There you go. What you're listening for is that the sound changes. You go from that thud, thud, thud to poop. You can hear it when it hits metal. That's, and the socket feels it. So that's bottomed out against there. Put Our little housing has a spring inside of it. We'll make sure that gets back where it goes. Marks. That is it. Put our bolts back in, tighten it up. One rebuilt or reburied 480 volt motor. Leroy's looking at us like, turn the fan back on. It's hot. Yeah, it's hot in here. Phew. Okay, they're all started. Grab my socket we've been using here. Now I'm going to use better judgment and get a ratchet. We'll put the old arm, arm torque wrench on it here. Thirty-five pounds, 0.5. <laughs> okay. Uh, last part is to put this little wire back together. No big deal. We got all our our uh, wires marked. There's, there's no way to tell them apart if you don't mark them. So they're all black. They all go inside the motor. So better be safe than sorry. We're gonna turn the fan back on, guys. It's hot.
Okay guys, uh, welcome back. We got our motor reassembled. Uh, I'm going to put this in here while I'm thinking about it. It costs $55 to put two new bearings in it. And it spins wonderfully. When we get it all assembled, we'll do another spin test and check it. But we got it sitting here on the floor. Matthew can show you. And we got our fan housing. Then we got our impeller we got to put on. And then we got the outer cover. So it's hot. We're gonna turn the fan on and we'll just work through it till we get done. Cause as soon as he turned that fan off, I'm starting sweating already. <laughs> Park. 
vamos a poner ahí. Okay, guys, uh, we're back to exactly where we were four hours ago. <laughs> That's not a bad repair. We took it, took it apart, uh, took, took the front motor off there, took, took the motor apart, went and got two bearings, put it all back together, and uh, we're going to do a little spin test and let you hear the, the motors now. So come over here a little closer, man. Here's the one that was good. Sounds perfect. Got good flow. Here was the problem, child. Real went the wrong way. Sounds much better much better so that's gonna do it for this video guys uh if you would tune in for the next one we're gonna do uh we gotta build the legs for this we gotta get it painted we're gonna transition these two uh exhaust ports into one round five inch to accommodate what we're doing over there but all that'll be in the next video we appreciate you watching this one if you would like subscribe and share uh you know shout out to joe main industrial cutting tools great people if you need blades give them a call also, many thanks to my son-in-law, Solomon, and Matthew for doing all these videos. They do all the editing. They won't let me touch them. I don't know why. I'm good with a hammer. But uh, <laughs> if you get a chance, check out Solomon's channel, Third Beard Fishing. If you got a veteran in your family, uh, he covers a lot of veteran affairs, veteran issues. be good for him. Uh, he'll, I mean, he'll even communicate with them one-on-one one -on -one if they need to. So that's going to do it for today, guys. We appreciate you with all our heart for watching, and we'll see you back at the mill. Thank you for watching. Here's a video selection and a playlist suggestion. Click here to subscribe for more great content. We'll see you at the mill.